Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 11, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor and personal access expert, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to finish up with some enhancements in our test taker database that we started in level 9 and we worked on last class in 10. We're going to do some stuff like display, you know, question 1 of 2. We're going to put a timer on it. We're going to put all kinds of cool enhancements on our test taker database. And we're going to start building something. We're going to start a new project called the Universal Dialog Box, which is basically the message box on steroids. You can control the font, you can control the color. We're going to put a timer on it later so you can have it pop up for a few seconds and go away. So that's going to start today, the Universal Dialog Box. You should definitely have taken Access Developer 9 and 10 if you want to not be lost today because we started the Test Taker database in Access Developer 9 and we can continue with it in 10. Uh, unless you're just interested in the dialog box stuff. If you just want this to begin with the dialog box and go ahead and start today. And of course, you should have also had under your belt all of my beginner, expert, and advanced classes that will certainly help you when it comes to the developer series. For those of you who may not have taken any of my classes, there are nine beginner lessons. There are the expert classes, which go into more detail, relationships and advanced form design and stuff like that, reports. The advanced series mostly deals with macros and events, but there's also a bunch of stuff, as we discover in today's class, I covered a lot of stuff uh, having to deal with like uh, form colors and like the RGB function and all that stuff that I do cover in the advanced series. So don't just skip over advanced. There is some good stuff in there. And of course, this is the developer series, which focuses mostly on stuff that we can do with VBA programming, which is really cool. And each one of the four series has different levels. Beginners got nine, experts got, I think, 32. Advanced only has six because I, I decided to switch right over to developer because uh, Microsoft pretty much got rid of web macros, you know, the whole web de design stuff with Access, so I decided to cut the advanced series short and go right to developer. So we're in level 11 of developer right now. Now, I strongly recommend you build the databases with me on your own as you're watching the lessons, but if you get lazy like me, which I do from time to time, you can download the databases, both the Test Taker and the Universal Dialog Box. Actually, it's part of the same database right now at that web page right there. I'm using Access 2016. I got the subscription, the Office 365. I'm pretty sure everything I cover in today's class is the same, going back to 2007. I don't know if the RGB function is in the older versions before that, like 2003 and before. They, use, they do colors a different way. But if you've got 2007 and up, you should be okay. I know they're transitioning to 2019 this fall, even though it's, what, currently August of 2018. They're always a year ahead with their version numbers. But uh, as long as you got the subscription model, it should be pretty much the same, and I strongly do recommend it. Okay, let's take a look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're continuing on with the test taker database that we started building in Access Developer 9 and worked with in Developer 10. We've got a couple more enhancements that we're going to do, some new stuff, some new techniques, a couple of new functions, and um, we're going to hide the display button, we're going to hide the, dis uh, the begin test button, we're going to show uh, question one of ten, we're going to learn how to see if another form is open, and if so, we can then do things like close it or modify it. Um, we'll learn how to cascade close multiple forms. So if this form closes, then this form closes, and that form closes. Lots of new little techniques in here. Like I said before, even if you're not building the test taker database to use, you know, build it as a test database. Build it as something to learn these techniques because the stuff that I'm teaching you, you will eventually want to use in your database. In lesson two, we're going to add some timers to our test form. We're going to track the start time and the end time of the test and the start and end time for each question so you can see how long it took them to answer each question and we're going to set a maximum time that they have to take the test so a situation where you know they only have one hour to take the test you can have the test say okay that's it time's up you're done after an hour put your pencils down right and again you may not be building a test taker for your personal uses but this has applications and all kinds of different databases if you're doing telemarketing you can have your people you know, track how long they are on the phone. You can have, you know, track your inventory people and see how long they're taking to check products and all kinds of uses for this kind of stuff. And we've done a little bit with timers before and dates and times, but I'm going to bring it all together in a nice lesson right now for you. In lesson three, we're going to switch gears and we're still going to work in the test taker database, but we're going to do something different. 
We're going to build, start building a universal dialog box. It's going to be our own version of the message box, and eventually it's going to incorporate the input box functions too. But I want to build a box that I can control every aspect of. I want to control the font, the colors, the prompt, the title, the different kinds of buttons, all that stuff. Put a timer on it. Return a value to a form. All those kinds of different things. So we're going to start building it today. I'm going to show you how to get it set up, and then we'll finish with it in the next class.